Oh, Roby, hi. newsflash, we're live. I, I'm i so excited Oh my about God, have ring. you had a coffee cocktail yet? I feel like... I feel I like... I haven't had it this I morning. feel like your clothes might come off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if, I feel like there's a theme this morning. Well, I'm a little I've, uncomfortable with I've it. I've seen Roby <laughs> drunk and it's... Fun. It's, yeah. That's all I'm going to say. It's fun. All right. So, Kristen Hugo from the OG. Yeah. Thank you for coming this morning. So, first of all, I think we need to get a shot of the huge refrigerator that carries the hillbilly martini on tap. Can we get a quick shot of that? All right. Is okay, Kamani's coming over. Thanks, Kamani. Yeah, so basically yeah. this is like an antique fridge, and, and it's filled with the nitro coffee mm -hmm. and the mixture of of uh, hillbilly martini, which is made up of what? It is made up of George Dickel, which is a Tennessee sour mash, Kahlua, which everyone knows. All right, knows I'm sorry, lot. hold on. Yes. Sour mash. So this is a whiskey. This isn't moonshine? Correct. It's bourbon. Oh, I thought it was moonshine all this time. It's okay. I'll let you think that. Oh, geez. Okay, well, then let's go with moonshine. Let's go with moonshine. Let's go with moonshine. Let's go with moonshine. I feel like when you put all these together, it's moonshine. <laughs> right? <laughs> what? Okay, serious question, though. Yes. What's the possibility that you go blind <laughs> drinking this? <laughs> 80%. 80%. 80%. Give it to him. He wants it. All right. And the other thing that is in the Hillabilla Martini is apparently this amazing coffee. Yeah. And it's it's Wells Coffee. And Brandon Wells is here joining us this morning. Come on yeah. over, Brandon. I want to talk to you because I hear your coffee is – and I'm a coffee drinker. I hear your coffee is life-changing. Why is, is that? Because it gives you the jolt that you need to get going and to keep going. You know and you're saying? a local, you yeah. brew locally, right? We're a specialty coffee Ro roaster in Fort Lauderdale. Oh, in Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. And how long yeah, have you been village. How long have you been in the business? We've been in the business for 5 years in that location for 3. And how did you get into the coffee roasting business? Like how did that happen? Just a passion that dates back to like 16 years old. Yeah. You know, wow. now we're roasting it and presenting it to people. It's awesome. Oh my gosh, I just had a news flash. Let's go do a can we do it? Oh and roast yeah. coffee. Yeah, roast some coffee. Can we do that, Brandon? Okay, we're doing it. We're setting it up. We're setting it up. And Roby really needs a win. Hint hint. <laughs> the poor guy, he can't do anything. Maybe he can roast some coffee. <laughs> All right, thank you, Brandon. Okay, so Are we gonna try this? serve us up, serve us up, Kristen. What else do we need to know? Okay, so and it also has Ancho Reyes, which is like a chili liqueur as well. And okay. our homemade, we batch everything in house, by the way, uh, cinnamon simple syrup. Oh, okay. So it's sugar, water with cinnamon. And bourbon, obviously. Because, you know, it, you have to get drunk. But no, but like this has bourbon in it too? No, no, no. That oh. is just simple water, sugar, and cinnamon that sits in there and kind of marinates okay. and right. infuses a simple syrup. Okay. You can make that at home. Yeah. So have you already poured some on? So you just, when you walk into the OG, which is a fairly new bar here in Delray Beach, owned by my friend Brian Rosen. Where's Brian Rosen? Brian yeah. Rosen. Yes, yeah, side, and, side note. Side note. His dog was the one that we got very up close and personal with. He told me the dog keeps asking for a second date with me. I can't. The dog <laughs> seems to be I can't even look Mabel in the eye. I'm like, I can't, Mabel, I can't. So Brian Rosen is very involved in this episode of Rise and Lies. So thank you, Brian. We really appreciate it. Okay, so you can just walk into the OG and order this drink? Yep. Okay. Obviously our famous fridge here, we have it on top at all times, as well as the Nitro Brew coffee in case you're feeling just... Like you need some coffee. Maybe. Okay, yeah. so you just get the coffee separately. You can, yes. Got it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm coming every morning. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what time do you open? <laughs> All right, so give us what you got. Okay, so in order to make it, say if you wanted to make this at home on your own, you would need an ounce of the Oh, George so Dickel. we can make this on our own. Oh, yeah, of course. Okay, this is great. I ounce love this. Ounce. Okay, so an ounce of the whiskey. Ounce of Kahlua. Ounce of Kahlua. I love it. And then you do half an ounce of the Ancho Reyes, just to give it a little bit of spice. Okay, this is our moonshine. Moonshine. Sure moonshine. <laughs> Cinnamon simple syrup, which obviously, like you said, you can make at home. Right. And then you need about five ounces of the cold brew coffee. Okay, and we, do you do you sell that, um, Brandon? Just like, we wholesale it. Wholesale it, okay. So you can buy it by the case. Okay. By the by keg. The keg. Oh. God, I feel we're, like we're I need Trevor J. <laughs> we need him to make something for us to hold the, the yes. Of coffee. Yes, that's a great idea. <laughs> Give it a nice little stir. All right. Is there a garnish? 
No. Yes. <laughs> my kind of drink. I can never wait for the garnish, Kristen. This <laughs> one, you don't need a garnish. It speaks for itself. That well, no, great. she's just always so grabby. Before the garnish goes on, she's always well, taking I'm it. I'm ready for that drunk. <laughs> and then, uh, because it does come with nitro cold brew coffee in it, you want to let it sit for a minute. Wait, you're only kinda... making one? Well, I have one already made for you. Oh, okay. Well, I don't feel like we it's... need to drink the whole thing. <laughs> we need to share. So this is the one that's already... This is basically how it would be served. Because okay. it settles like a Guinness. Because as you can tell... Oh, yeah. yeah. I, was... I feel like I need to do my pinky out. Yeah. Little pinky really? Out. Pinky yes. out. Is this yeah. still good to drink or should this I try is... hers? You can try this, but this is just how it would be Oops, poured. And you see how it's kind of settling oh God, here? That's so good. Yeah. I made a it's mess, like a sorry. So it Dan's gonna yell at me. Nice Dan, I'm sorry. Right. I clean up my own mess. Oh, gosh, we gotta bring in the, hey. the cleaning crew today <laughs> after today. All right, here I go. Oh, this one. Wow. See? See clean up your mess too, ready. Roby. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Jesus, God. I need to learn to top those off. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, that's dangerous. That is dangerous. Wow. And you like it, you can feel it go down. It's like that. It's, um, the, it's like that bottle. tequila liqueur, <laughs> you know, the 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 tequila coffee drink. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh mm -hmm. gosh, yeah. And why do I always end the night with that? <laughs> Bad idea. 